Hi everyone, this is Guille Fernandez. I'm, I'm so happy to have today a Vicky Scudieri. She graduates from uh, Brennan Healing School, the Barbara Brennan School in 2012. So welcome, Vicky. Thank you, I'm so happy to be doing this with you. Mm. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Can you tell, tell us more about uh, when and where you graduate from the school? Uh, so it was, uh, again, 2012 in the Hyatt, uh, downtown Miami, which was really um, great to visit five times a year to go to Miami, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah, six years ago. Yes. Ah, it, it, it seemed uh, not long time ago, but uh, in the... Um, it seemed lo not a long time, but yes, it's a, a lot of things happen, right? Yes. Vicky and I were in the same class, so yes. we used to see each other there. Anyway, uh, Vicky, tell us what is your best memory from the school? So, um, I actually have such amazing memories of doing my case. Um, I felt... I, I feel like I just went through this, the depths of experience and expression in my case and felt tremendous support and um, a letting go and a grounded presence and an expansion. And I, I just, it was quite magical, I feel like my case was. And um, I just have images of it in my mind and I just think about it in the way of like feeling so blessed and grateful for having experienced it. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about your case? What it was about or? Um, well, it ended up being like a constellation, a family constellation, which was super cool. And, um, and I just remember like, you know, people who were there supporting me and came to watch, they were part of this constellation and it was so interactive and, um, and expansive and expressive. And again, like by the end, I just felt this tremendous, like a stillness within me and an expansion. And I still remember that in myself, like that presence and feeling so um, uh, sitting in this stillness with everyone in the room you know and yeah yeah it was it was very powerful mm -hmm. cases are so powerful and so yeah. healing moments right yeah, yeah. and uh, tell us about the songs is there any song that really connect you oh song? yes um so may the long time sun shine upon you by i don't know how to pronounce the name it's not it's not Snatam Kaur. Do you remember? No. I mean, it's just, it's just um, every time if I hear that song, it's just like, <gasps> like I just feel it in my body, you know, like it just brings me right there. It's such an exquisite song. It's so beautiful. And um, you would know it if I played it for you. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. So yes, may the, may the long time sun shine upon you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for it when we finish our interview. Yeah. And um, uh, how do you use your training now in what you're doing right now? Um, so I um, opened up my own practice called Root Energy Healing. And I work with clients one-on-one -on -one in person as well as long distance. Um, I do... Uh, I love doing long distance. That's probably my favorite and my specialty. And I've created a program called the weekly healing series for people who um, don't have time to actually make appointments to come in for a session or to even do a long distance where they email me their intentions and desires and issues like each week. And then I do a remote healing for them uh, within one to three days of receiving their intentions. And then I send them back a voice recording with feedback and um, guidance and tools so that they can empower themselves and heal themselves. And I love this program so much. It's fun. I love working with my clients in that way. Um, and yeah, uh, 
so that's one of the things I've also, and so it's all remote, it, you know, it's done remotely and, um, Wow, that's so, th those are so nice way to work with people. Tell, yeah. tell us more about that. So you, you charge for that or you don't charge or it's like a service? Yeah. It's, um, I charge um, uh, by the month. Well, yeah, it is by the month because it's, it's every four sessions, then they uh, pay me for the four sessions. And it's kind of like having a two hour session broken, uh, broken up into four weeks. So they're like shorter sessions um, and it's like having, I, I think it's a great way to have continuous work. So if somebody comes like one time, once in a blue moon, I feel like, you know, this is actually breaking up that time over a period of time so that, you know, they can feel, you know, I've always said, I always say that like, you know, this work is like going to the gym to build a muscle. You don't go one time and then you have like big, you know, uh, big biceps. It's like, you want to keep going to the gym and build the muscle. So it's the same thing. Like it's sort of building the container, raising the vibration, clearing out the stagnant energies and the negative patterns and the negative thoughts, continuously doing that over and over, like each week, clearing out, raising the high vibration, bringing in, you know, the energy of creator and love and, and bliss and peace and all these things like continuously so that the person can then maintain that. And that's what I've found with the clients that are doing this program is that they maintain, um, they can maintain the healing because of the, you know, how it's ongoing in that way. Yeah. So they pay you monthly mm -hmm. and then you, you, they send you their intentions and then you work with them any time that you have time you don't you don't schedule like a session they don't have to be laying down like a regular session no and i set the intention that um they receive it when it's for their highest and best good so that you know i mean there is no time when it comes to enter to healing right time is an illusion so like they'll send it to me i mean most of the time uh you know if i have a client that emails me on tuesdays you know i'll know my schedule on wednesday i'll, I'll most likely do it the next day you know, but if something changes in the schedule, I might not, you know, I, I say at the latest, I'll get back with the feedback, you know, three days. And then, um, yeah, that's how, that's how it works. And I'll, I'll give them uh, kind of a review, a recap of the session. Um, and often tools, guidance, meditations come in. And then I've had a few times where the entire session I record. And I'm, I, I'm, I always go with what I'm guided to do. I don't have any preset things. Like, this is what I'm going to do today for this person. It's like, just whatever comes through me, I'm like surrendering to this God or source or, you know, I, I like the word God. Um, and so it just all comes, comes through me what to do. And sometimes I'm like, okay, I hear, you know, get out, get out the recorder and start now and talk this person through the healing as if, cause then when they listen back, it's as if they're having it in that moment while they're listening. So that recording might be longer, like a half an hour recording. Um, and sometimes it's just um, a shorter, you know, maybe a 10 minute recording and it's a recap of a shorter session if that yeah, makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a, yeah. Love it. I think love it. That gives people a lot of benefits. As you said, um, when they don't have time to, to go to see you or when they don't have time to really lay down one hour or yeah, that's a great way to work with that. <clears throat> one of my clients often like he will, he doesn't even listen to it. Like for maybe he could listen to something two weeks later. He'd be like, I just listened to session number, you know, 20 or whatever. <laughs> and um, you know, that could be three weeks later after the fact. And he'll like listen to them at the perfect time and he'll do it when he's, able to relax and take it in. So he feels the effects when they're actually happening as well. But then like when he listens to the recording, it's like you, every time you listen to the recording, you get, you know, sort of a deepening of healing as well, you know? So yeah. That's I love this. I love it so much. It's just really exciting for me. And um, I just enjoy it. It's just, it feels good for me to work in that way. So. And how you call it again? I call it the weekly healing series. Weekly healing series. Okay. Okay. Wow. I love it. I think that gives us an, another idea of how to work with people. Yes, absolutely.
Absolutely. And um, what else? Um, do you have any advice you would like to tell to new graduates or to stu students? First of all, I, I would like to say that um, I honor the courage and willingness to do the program because it is really deep and and challenging and illuminating and amazing and challenging <laughs> many times, you know? And so just to have that courage to make that choice to do that is extraordinary. So I wanna honor everyone who's gone through that, this program. It's just, it's an amazing gift, you know? And then, um, you know, upon graduating, um, I want to say, I feel like, you know, bringing the tools and teachings out into the world also, it's just a choice that we make. And so it's like, you know, you have these tools for the rest of your life, you know, and, um, and again, like the effect, you know, using the tools and the teaching in our daily lives affects everybody around us in a huge way, you know. And that's also an extraordinary thing. So, um, yeah, it's I just honor you for for making the choice, and then um, just how great is it that you have these teachings with you always, and these teachings are just a tremendous gift to this world, you know. And um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not something that that we went to study and learn, and that's it, and we finished the program, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's like, almost like just the beginning. There's like a new beginning when we graduate. Now, now we're using these skills and teachings in the world, and it's so different. It's a different container than that sacred space of the bread and healing community. You know, um, yeah, the bread and community and that sacred space that's held is so different in the world and how people are and connecting and communicating and living our lives. So, yeah, yeah. It's a new way to um, bring forth what you've learned. Yeah, I always uh, feel so lucky to be able to to attend to the school. It was uh, before and after, definitely. Yeah. No. And um, if there, if you see Barbara, what would you like to ask her? One question that you would like to ask Barbara. So. Um, I, I know, you know, Barbara only as a teacher from our classes. So I would want to know more about who Barbara is as a person, like in a deeper way. And so since I only have the one question, um, a, a, another, I would ask her birthday. And to explain that, I, um, I, another tool that I use for my life and in my practice is I've been studying um, the book of life, which is an ancient system of knowledge that reflects life on earth. And it is actually using the regular deck of playing cards. And I have found it to be extraordinarily accurate. And um, so if I asked her her birthday, um, it would tell me a lot about her. I would learn a lot about her <laughs> knowing her birthday. <laughs> so that would be like, you know, the, the question I would want to ask, yeah. So if anybody knows her birthday, I would love to know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that she spent um, a couple of years her birthday at school, but I don't remember when it was, which one of the classes. Yeah, I remember that too. Uh, and I, um, I, I, like April comes to my mind. Like maybe it was like when we were at school in April and she was having a birthday. Maybe, maybe. I'm sure you can get that answer okay. from, somehow, <laughs> from someone of this community. And um, well, tell, tell us more about that, um, uh, that tool that you use, the Book of Life card. Um, so it predates the Bible. Uh, they don't, I'm not even sure when. It could be like Egyptian time. It's very old. And um, gypsies would use it to do readings and it was so accurate that it got sort of like it ended up getting hidden because it was not accepted and um it got hidden in plain sight as a game 
as the regular deck of playing cards. And um, based on the birthday, we have a birth card. We have, you know, cards to play. We have 13 cards in our life path, our birth card. We have a personality card. And, and it, it just shows so much about a person. It shows, you know, your gifts, your life purpose, um, your shadow side, your lower self, um, dynamics of relationships. You can tell the dynamics and the energies of relationships based on the cards and how they play off of each other and how they are connected. Um, and there are cards for the year, cards for the cards of the day. Um, it, it's, you know, I've been learning since I met my, um, fiance five years ago. Um, I've been learning about this system and I'm still learning and we teach workshops about relationships. Uh, based on the cards and the dynamics of relationships. Um, and it's so much fun. I have a blast doing it. And uh, yeah, so that's a little bit more. About that. Well, it sounds that it can be an amazing tool because I don't know your clients, but a lot of my clients, um, they struggle a lot of um, about their mission, their purpose. They don't know where they're going, what they want, what they... <laughs> No, so yeah, it would be yes. an amazing tool. Do you have a like a book that we can recommend to the people or yes, um, so we can get the website where we can get more information about yes, it? Yes, that is um, Alexander Dunlop, who is my partner, my life partner. Um, he wrote a book called Play Your Cards Right, A Sacred Guide to Life on Earth. Wait, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> okay play your cards right okay and, um god is it illuminating i mean i i personally i haven't found anything this accurate um as far as just being i mean we, when i first met him and he told me about my he told me about all about myself <laughs> based on my birthday and i was like what like deep deep things you know um especially for a first time meeting <laughs> you know It was a little too much to know about you. No, no, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, wow, you even know like some of these, you know, shadowy things about me. Um, I, yeah, it's just super, super accurate as far as I'm concerned. And like, you know, even like to know that I'm playing my cards right. Like all the things I'm sharing that I'm doing with my life and that I love doing, you know, I'm really aligned with playing my cards right according to this system, you know, and I'm like, wow, I'm right on track, you know? Um, so it just, it's a great confirmation. And then it's also just very telling for people who don't know what they're, you know, want to do with their lives and feel lost or, you know, also the shadow work is phenomenal. Like, you know, I've always held my feelings in, and not, you know, really express my feelings, you know, um, and, and maybe kind of shove things under the rug. I've had that pattern my whole life, you know, like I learned to start coming forward more in Brennan, you know, and still at Brennan, I still didn't raise my hand very much, you know. So um, my shadow, according to the cards, is the four of hearts, which is being in a box. And on the low side, it's shoving all your feelings into a box. I mean, it's... It, it, that's it. That's exactly what I have done, you know? And, um, and then it's also on the high side, holding space, holding loving space for myself and other people, which I've also done my whole life, you know, being like really, I've, I've always been very supportive to other be people and been able to hold that loving space to people. And there it is in the book. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's so cool. So yeah, it's been really helpful. Wow. So We're gonna get to read this book. Sounds amazing. Maybe, okay. <laughs> they, can, maybe they can uh, uh, have something inside the school about it or mm. teach. teach That would be great. You, they can invite you, Vicky. Um, is there anything that you will like to learn in school that you didn't learn or that they can include in the program or? You know, The one thing that I just remember from that, you know, back then was I remember talking to friends about it at the school, like being kind of confused about, you know, the intention around clearing out 
dark energies, stagnant energies from somebody's system, where does that energy go? <laughs> you know, I remember feeling like, well, wait, we're in this huge room with all these people doing healings, you know, and everybody's like pulling stuff out, you know, and just, okay, and where is that going? Like into the room, and into this pot of like, you know, and I just, you know, remember wanting more guidance on that, like wanting more clear guidance on what is that, how to be with that, how to be with sort of these darker energies, whether they clear or not, because sometimes, you know, you can't make somebody clear a dark energy. So maybe it just wants to hang out still. And how do I just be with that without being in fear, you know, or, you know, without um, fighting it, you know, <laughs> I'm going to get you, you know, so um, yeah, I remember struggling with that. And then I probably never asked anybody because I never, <laughs> it was hard for me to express my feelings, you know, so. Um, I remember know. teachers saying that it goes to the light, no? Take you it do? to the light. Yeah, so then I thought that too. I thought, well, maybe <laughs> I just didn't really hear it, really hear the answer. I wasn't like wanting to hear it or something. And it really, it was addressed, but I didn't remember it being like, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the light. Go to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> you're right. With a room filled with people taking out dark energy. Yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, I remember the um, experiences from year two. Remember the, the, the past yeah. life? That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. But well, also, okay, with that being said, like, I mean, the teachers just, held this tremendous space, this sacred space. And they're, I'm sh I know that they're clearing the space and they're, you know, working on, you know, holding the space. Right. But then like going home, I don't have, you don't know, have that same situation. You know, I'm still like, you know, what do I do with it? You know, like, I, I think that's where I, you know, kind of like wanted more, wanted more about it, like a class about it or something, <laughs> I don't know. addressing it, like really talking about it. Like, um, yeah. Anyway. So, okay. I've learned a lot about it since then. So now you know more, a little bit more. Yes. Yeah. And um, since graduation, what have you learned that has deepened your healership? Well, it's the perfect segue because um, I've learned to that I am the facilitator of the healing, and that God or Creator does a perfect healing, you know, and that I've learned to just have that energy, you know, ask for that energy to come through me and that it's not my responsibility. I'm not the one really doing the work. It's creator or God doing the work, you know, God is doing this perfect healing, you know? Um, and when I really surrendered to that, everything changed for me. Everything changed for me. I, I realized that I had a lot of unconscious negative patterns that I am the healer and I am supposed to take on from this other person and then I'll transmute it myself. And it took me a long time to know that because I was always, I would always be exhausted after healings and during Brennan, I'd be tired so much, like a tight, like I'd have to take a nap or not at Brennan, but like, you know, just be tired a lot. <laughs> and like, you know, when I had started, you know, doing healings, like I could take a nap after, you know, And, um, so I just realized, oh, that's my own stuff of like, I am, you know, taking this on, on an unconscious level, I'm feeling depressed and I'm like, this is not my depression. Am I taking this on? Uh, I thought I had to in some way, but now I, am. Um, I surrender to God who's doing the healing and I witness the healing coming through me and I am beyond energized after a session, happy real I, it's just I, I feel like I'm getting the healing I never had that before you know so uh, I learned a lot of that after <laughs> afterwards you know <laughs> yeah really surrendering surrendering wow to that you know I think, yeah that's huge that's huge mm -hmm. because I'm, I I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of people that watch this video it feel the same mm -hmm. Yeah, we all like feel the same that it's our responsibility that we are doing the healing that we need to do or fix yes. stuff. Yes. Right? Yes. 
for people. Yes. And, yes. and 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 at the end we are we the only thing that we need to do is allow. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So I finally got the allowing after <laughs> after school, <laughs> you know, and um yeah, really surrendering and allowing and witnessing and not being like, oh, is this all on me? Or I mean, if people are empathic, that's really easy to do, take on other people's stuff if you feel other people's feelings. And a lot of people who go to the school are intuitive and, you know, have these high sense perception ways of, you know, seeing things and feeling things. And so, um, yeah, it can be, I feel like, easy to maybe merge. And, well, that's what we're learning not to do. But, you know, um, yeah learning to just really witness and, and allow and be a facilitator. You know, the, um, that happened to me recently in a healing that um, I, will, I start working with a person and suddenly the guys asked me just to sit down and hold a, a place of unconditional love, of the best unconditional love that I can do. And they were working on the person, right? And I was like, why they don't work with the person if, why they need me then? If I, uh -huh. And uh, well, I got this answer that, that they need us as healers to open the space and yeah. like to hold the space uh, so they can work with the people. So it's funny that you mentioned that because yeah, so at, at that healing, I only sit down and hold a, a, a unconditional love state. Wonderful. Wow. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Um, let me see what else we have. We have some questions prepared for Vicky. So I'm okay. <laughs> um, what is your most successful experience with brain and healing science since you graduate? Okay. So, um, my dad was having surgery and it was a really, really simple surgery, easy, simple surgery. And, um, suddenly they're doing all these tests before the surgery and the doctor comes in and he says, um, wow, this is, I, I'm, you know, this is actually really serious. Uh, we've been doing tests and it's much more serious now. They brought a priest in. I mean, <laughs> like I wasn't even there. I just got texts, you know, they brought a priest in, said it was very serious. And, um, and then my father was just still waiting and waiting and then more tests and more tests. And after the last test, this is hours of time where this is happening. The last test, um, the doctor comes in and says, um, well, I have no idea what has just happened. It is absolutely a miracle. You can go home and you don't need surgery anymore. <laughs> no. And I gave him healing. And I was like, I mean, I just, you know, uh, wow, it was really, I still, that still sits with me in a way that's just like, I feel like in a way, I feel like that was meant to all be in order to teach me something in some way, like to really show me what this work can do, you know, um, because it was so powerful that anything is possible, you know, to really um, I, you know, I had that experience of that. Um, wow. It really affected me in a deep way, you know, that, that, yeah, that anything is possible. Anything can be healed through intention, through surrender, you know, and of course the willingness of the person, like if my, I, obviously my father was not ready to go, you know, um, that's a big part of it, <laughs> yeah. but, um, yeah. Wow. Wow. It's, when you were saying that, it gives me chills. It mm -hmm. gave me chills. Wow. Yeah. I, I feel that some, sometimes we forget how powerful this work is. So, A lot of things are so concept, have always been so conceptual for me. Like I've, I've, I've you know, knowing things or learning things throughout my whole life and understanding things, but embodying them and really feeling them, not so much, maybe, you know, like, oh, believing that there, we are spiritual beings in a human body and believing, you know, all these, um, you know, sort of uh, expanded conscious consciousness, you know, like ways of 
viewing the world and seeing things, but then embodying it and feeling it and living my life like that, you know, it's, it's taking time you know, it's to learn these things. And that was one of those experiences of like, whoa, okay. You know, it's, um, this is, a, I can, I can, you know, this is happening in the physic, physical world. This is a change being made, you know, not just in my mind's eye. Like when I was seeing the healing happening of all this gorgeous, beautiful light and love coming into his body and, you know, dissolving this big stone he had and, um, seeing it come through the doctor, like that's this beautiful image and vision and I could feel it in my body. But then like to actually have that, you know, translate physically, I think was, you know, really big deal for me to experience. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. Wow, Vicky, thank you. Thank you for reminding us that, yeah. that part. And um, finally, where do you see yourself growing next? Um, I love working with Alexander. So doing, you know, more workshops where we incorporate teachings on uh, the book of life and the system of the cards with energy healing. I'll do healings like um, throughout the classes that we do, like I'll do a group healing. So I love doing group healings. I love um, like what Barbara would do, um, the goddess meditation for the whole you know, school. I would love to be doing meditation, healing meditations like that for groups. And also incorporating music into that, sound healing and singing into that. So that's coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon to a sacred space near you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, more workshops and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm loving what I'm doing. It's really very, very, very fulfilling. So I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to the school and to Barbara Brennan for this work because it changed my life. So. Mm. And thank you for letting letting us see you, really see you. <laughs> and um, can you tell people where they can find you if they would like to know more about these um, these cards and or these healings that you give? Or so um, my website is rootenergyhealing.com. R O O T energyhealing.com and um, Alexander's website uh, for to learn more about the cards and you could also find his book on there is lifeelevated.life lifeelevated.life with two e's so l i f e mm -hmm. e l I don't know how to spell it <laughs> e v a t e d life elevated yeah that life yeah so that's where you can find Find us. Oh. Find information. Well, it was a, a pleasure connecting with you today and, and meeting you through this interview. Vicky, thank you for your time. And well, thank you so much. I feel so blessed and grateful. And thank you for allowing me to share. And I love connecting with you. And um, just thank you. Yeah been great with all the graduates and students and people from the school that go that they are going to watch this video <laughs> to everyone love to everybody last last few words vicky what would it be just thrilled to be a part of this community and again i just i honor everybody in this community for um just your love and your, your courage to um, heal and grow and evolve and change in this world and bringing your light into this world. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. It's amazing. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. See you soon. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>